Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Origins of Doggos. I am joined, as always, by my big fluffy Borzoi co-host who is burying her head in the couch right now. Uh, as we go through every species of dog, A through Z, through the AKC recognized breeds from a historical perspective. We are also in quarantine lockdown here in Los Angeles, so I am joined by my wife and beautiful assistant in the back. She helps me do all the research for this project, so kudos to her for sticking with me as we have some uh, like 190 more breeds or so to go. So today we are going to be talking about the American Eskimo dog. So what are they? Smaller dog, 10 to 30 pounds, they tend to live very long, 12 to 15 years. To be considered an official Eskimo dog, they have to be either white or cream colored. Uh, this is a good example here of the cream color, that kind of uh, froth on the top of your latte color. They come in three distinct sizes as well. There is the toy, nine to 12 inches, the miniature, 12 to 15, and the standard, 15 to 19. This is the, the AKC recognized parameters for size. And if they're under nine inches or over, 19 inches they will be disqualified from competition. So where did this dog come from? The European Spitz dogs. And the Spitz dogs are your Pomeranians, your Kishans, your Volpino Italiano. They were bred as a territory dog. So they, territory, <laughs> territorial dog. They are your guard, not guard dogs per se, but more of like your, your warning dogs. They're not aggressive to humans. They're just the dog that's gonna tell you if someone's coming onto your property because they're the little, little barky yappy dogs. So we know they came from the German Spitz dogs uh, and we started seeing them if we're going to go we're now going to go to the timeline 1800 and 1900 we saw the Spitz dogs popping up in these small immigrant communities throughout America um, and again became a very popular dog. However as sentiment started to change towards Germany World War I 1917 ish the German Spitz dog was changed to the American Spitz dog. When it changed to the American Eskimo dog, nobody really knows. One theory is that due to this, this really strong sentiment against Germany throughout America, they really wanted to distance the name even further than just calling it American Spitz. Since Spitz is a German word, they wanted to go to the American Eskimo dog. I don't know. However, we did find that this dog is not only a great territorial dog and guard, guard dog per se, it is a really intelligent dog and is very, very adept at trick performing. The uh, Cooper Brothers Railroad Circus featured the American Eskimo dog and so did Barney and Bailey Circus. This is in the 1930s. And so the American Eskimo dog, named the Stouts Paul Pierre, was the first famous tight rope, rope walking dog. Very interesting. I can guarantee my dog will never walk on a tightrope. She will not even walk on slippery floors. So there's that. <clears throat> so now we're in the 1930s and 1940s. It, this dog became, remained a very, very popular for its ability to do tricks. Traveling circuses around the US, anybody who's doing the you know, sideshows and that sort of thing would get an American Eskimo dog because they were so apt to learning, to learning these tricks. Now we're finding post-World War II, Oddly enough, we're finding the Japanese Spitz was coming over to America and they were crossed with the American Eskimo dog. The American Eskimo dog is also known as an Esky. So if you hear that before, like Husky, again, Huskies actually have something to do with Alaska and, and that sort of area, but this, these can be also called the Eskies. And that's pretty much it for this dog. You know, we, we dug into you know, there's a lot of famous circus dogs that were American Eskimo dogs, but not a lot of history between World War II and 1985 when they got recognized by the AKC. Or sorry, when they, sorry, the American Eskimo dog was actually, the American Eskimo dog, by Eskimo, American Eskimo Dog of America Club. You guys couldn't have thought of a better name. The American Eskimo Dog of America Club. Good Lord. There you have it. This is the history of the American Eskimo dog. Started out as a German Spitz, came over to America. We only liked the cream colored ones. Bred a bunch of them. Very, very smart. World renowned tricksters. Sounds cool. See you guys next week. Bye.